I'm joined by NASA astronaut Paul Richards. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to be here. You actually flew on Discovery. Do you want yes. to tell us a bit, a little bit about that flight? Sure. Uh, it was STS-102, and it was uh, the first crew rotation flight. So we brought up Expedition 2, and we brought home Expedition 1. We did two spacewalks. We delivered 12,000 pounds of gear in the first Italian module, Leonardo, and brought 9,000 pounds of gear home. Now this what spacecraft was designed to be used again and again. But there's a problem with re-entry, isn't there, that gets a little warm? Yes, yes. So it was a rocket, spacecraft, and now you're going to come home as a glider, but you have to take all that energy out. Well, you control that energy, and when you come in, you actually turn backwards somewhere around Australia, you fire your engines, you start slowing down, but when you slow down, you fall to Earth and you speed up, and that's when you get Mach 25. And now you're starting to rub against the atmosphere and you're starting to compress the atmosphere into a plasma. And that's where it gets hot. In fact, uh, I would look out my uh, mirror uh, on my wrist and above and I would see a white plasma like a percolator. And so that was the atmosphere turning into a white hot, you know, 5,000 degree plasma. Oh, wow. That was caused by friction which is the resistance of motion when two things rub up against each other. In this case, the friction is caused by the space shell smashing into the air molecules. Hey, Paul. Hey, Marty. All right, so we are going to try to pick up this water bottle with nothing but a chopstick. Get and out. a little bit of rice <laughs> using some friction. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this bottle up with rice. So if you want to just okay. stick the funnel in there, friction is that force of two objects against each other trying to oppose that force. So we've got all of these little rice grains in there, and they're going to be pulling against one another. And so as we fill this up, we're going to tap it down every once in a while, make sure that we get all of those air bubbles out and that that rice is packed in there nice and tight. All right, so we're getting that bottle full. Probably one more scoop there. Oh, yeah, that should be good to good. go. All right, now let's grab a chopstick. And we're just going to kind of jab it down in there nice and hard. There you go. Now, let's try picking that up. Wow. And there we go. So we are picking up that water bottle with nothing but the chopstick and a little bit of rice just because of friction. Now, what other materials do you think you could use to accomplish this same thing? See if you can rice above the competition and try this in your classroom.